Nike has the best running shoes. You can walk or run. You could even use different type of machines in the gym. For example, like the Power Mill, which is a Stairmaster. Also, Nike has different types of running shoes to express yourself. They even sell headbands, which are really cute and 100% recommend buying. So, just do it. Hello Chieftains and welcome back to another super califragilistic school year. To the new freshmen joining us today, welcome. We're live from the tribe where we give your daily news and views just for you. He's Drew Jeter, our anchor, and I'm Lena Bowers. This show is for the week of August 30th, 2021. It's day one of 180 days of your education and 34 weeks of the school year. The first day can be exciting because you get reunited with friends from school. If you're new to the campus and have any questions, ask anyone wearing orange and blue chieftain gear. They will help you out. The office is always a place to go if you need something. However, if the office is overcrowded with people, then find a teacher by their classroom. Most will be outside to greet you guys anyways. Today, we feel and look our best after a long, relaxing summer. Let's try to keep that same fun attitude all year long. In case you need some tips on where to find things, let's take a little tour around our campus. Hi, my name is Lisi Peretta, and I'm here in the front office, and I take care of the attendance here at Claremont High School. Here comes the sun. Hey Chieftains, my name is Ethan Williams and I'm the principal here at Claremont and we are so excited to spend the next four years learning and growing right alongside you. We hope you have a blast during your time as a Chieftain and we're on to our next stop on the tour. Here comes the sun, I say. What's up freshmen? I'm Sarah Thomas and I'm one of your vice principals. If you have the last names of letters M through Z, you can come and see me about anything, anytime, anywhere. Um, but if you get sent to me, it's not going to be fun for you. So do good, study hard. It's all right. Hi, class of 2025, I'm Claudia Victor, you know, one of your counselors. I work with students with last names L, I through Z, and I'll be working with you the next four years to work on your college plans, career plans, any needs with academics, I'm here to support you with also social emotional needs. My name is Christian Ramirez, I'm a counselor here at Claremont High School. I work with last names A through L, E. Um, we, as a counselor, I work with students in college and career, uh, academics, their schedules, making sure they graduate on time, and of course, social and emotional. So if anybody's feeling uh, left out, depressed, anxious, this is something that we can help out and work with you. It's all right. The counselors know there are concerns with schedules. It always happens. For this reason, we ask you do not go to the counseling office. Instead, it is preferred to schedule an appointment with your counselor and they will call you in. Teachers, we also need your help for this. Please do not send students to the office just yet. Give the front office about three days from the beginning of school to work everything out. It makes for a faster process for everyone if we use appointments instead of walk-ins. Students, you will be checking out books in the library for your classes. Your English teacher will take you and your classmates to the library to check out textbooks. Make sure you bring your school ID with your district student ID number. It doesn't matter what year it's from as long as the number is current. The library runs so much better when the librarian can scan your ID 
and books. It's a faster way to help everyone in line by being prepared. Did you know that in our very own Claremont High School, we have extracurricular clubs? Clubs are a great way to make new lasting friends. Have a brand new studio and it then be the best you ever. If you want a great hardware feeling and heavy burn while you're making friends, then you don't need a drop. It's a time in the week where all students can come together, connect, um, do a fun activity, and what I always notice is students are so present in what's, what's happening. The requirements for starting the club is to get the paperwork from room 115 from ASB. You will ask the commissioner of clubs or whoever's in the room for club paperwork and you will fill that out and you need four officers, your president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary. Once you have those, you can find a CHS staff member to sponsor your club and become an advisor. After that, you can submit your paperwork to the commissioner of clubs and your club will be approved in an ASB meeting and you will be notified. Whether we're playing kickball or water balloons or teaming up um, with the sports teams to play basketball or softball um, or even simple um, connections of uh, saying what's up to one another, it just seems like students are so present and enjoying themselves and um, it just keeps building and building. So um, Circle of Friends is definitely um, a fun club and um, I'm so excited for all the students that have been a part of it. There are so many drugs out there where you didn't have fun. They you know the they way they do them a drug, 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 had so many drugs that you didn't do. If you didn't buy one, then make one. Students, after a partially heated election season and a ballot review, the results are finally in for next year's class officers. The class of 2022 president is Andrew Jeter, me. The class of 2023 president is Casey Harris. And last but not least, the only class of 2024 officer position elected is Alicia Zugman as president. For the class of 2024 position, appointments will be made to fill vice president, secretary, and treasurer positions. Class of 2025 freshmen, more information will be coming soon for elections for year class officer positions. Do you have club news to share with the school, a fun sports activity, or just want to make an announcement about something happening? Contact Mr. Sparks at dsparks at sandy.net with the information or the current CHS ASB advisor. With JJ graduated, our last sports guy, Colby <laughs> is in the sports center. What do you got for us today, Colby? As we're kicking off the 2021 school year, our chieftains have been working hard on the gridiron since June 21st for the upcoming season. This Friday, our football team is going out to El Cajon to play in the second game of our football season. Be sure to go support your Chieftains out on the road. If there's any questions about fall schedules, go check our Claremont website for further information. We are creeping into the fall season and the NFL has their first matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys on September 9th. The Buccaneers are the favorite of this game due to the ring they brought home back in February. Meanwhile, the Padres have a big month ahead of them. Uh, which determines whether or not they take the wild card or the division home this week. This week they are taking on the Diamondbacks in a three-game series looking for the sweep. Thanks Colby for that riveting sports segment. That's all for today's show. Since it's the beginning of the new school year, freshmen don't trip, and if you have any questions you can ask me at Drew.Jeter on Instagram. It's all fun at Claremont. Turn in your work, join clubs, sports, and have more fun. Your next four years await, and seniors have an amazing last year. We always end this week's show with keep it orange and blue. So until next time, Chieftains, the school year awaits. See you around. Goodbye. Goodbye.